Kevin Durant scoring a game-high 29 points in Game 5, but one for nine over the past two fourth quarters. And this was so fascinating, this exchange between Steve Kerr and KD during the game. When MJ was with the Bulls, we had a playoff game, and he kept, he kept trying to score. And he was scoring, but we weren't getting anything going. Bill Jackson said, who's open? said John Paxson. I want you to trust your teammates early, early. You're, what you're doing is you're getting to the rim and then you're trying to hit them. I want you to trust the first guy and then move. Still attack, still look to score, but trust these guys, okay? Honestly, I, I was almost shocked this airs. The NBA has to clear all of that <laughs> coach's sound. And normally it's just sort of like, go get him and you can do it. And remember to stay uh, tough on defense. This was so crazy, interesting and insightful. What did you think when you heard it? That was the best audio assist I've ever right. heard. Most of the time, I think the audio assist is very pointless. Yes. yes, it gives fans an inside look, but fans only need so much inside look. And come on, guys, we got to get back on defense. A bunch of rah-rah stuff. That one was an actual story, and it was relevant. It, people understood what the message was. So what do you think of the message, though? The message was amazing. The message was amazing because sometimes with high-level scores, they want to keep doing it. They want to just, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And sometimes guys have to fight their natural instinct. So he's like, trust the first guy, move, come back, and get the ball again, and then that's when you can be aggressive. But he's not. He's not. That's what he told. He's telling that story as a creative way. And by the way, a hat tip to Steve Kerr because the coaches have the option to flip off their yep. mic. He left yeah. it on. He always leaves it on. Yep. Um, KD is holding on the ball too much. He's reverting back to Oklahoma City KD, uh, especially late in games. His ISOs per game are way up, and some of it has to do with the way that the Rockets are defending him. Right. But this, you can tell this is a conversation that Steve is having with him on many different levels. He's probably had it on other levels before we haven't heard. Now it's story time. Let's bring in Mike, let's bring in a Michael Jordan story because that may get him to do it. But I honestly believe that this is a central conversation of this series. Steve Kerr trying to get Kevin Durant to play team basketball under pressure because he's not doing it, Rachel. Well, this is, you know, it's sort of the classic question with putting KD on this team. You know, you can take the guy out of ISO land, but can you take ISO land out of the guy? I mean, is it, was he an ISO type player? Because that's what the Oklahoma City Thunder ran, and that's sort of how he was locked in with Russ in that system. Could they change him by bringing him here? The answer has mostly been yes, but he does revert, right, Brian? When things are sort of under pressure, he reverts. His, his ISOs are up, his dribbles are up, the team's passes are down. RJ, you know that at certain times, calling for an ISO play, especially if you've got a seven-footer who puts the ball over his head, say, is a great decision. Yeah. But it's happening too much, and the Warriors' intensely uh, unstoppable offense has become stoppable because of it. Well, and let's not let's not just blame Kevin Durant for this. Oh. There was no. I, I'm saying. Yeah. Steph Curry missed a ton of time, so they needed him to be more of an ISO player. So now Steph comes back, and they're like, okay, we need to get back to our movement because that helps our entire team. But for those six weeks that he was out and, and missing time, that's when they needed Clay to be more aggressive. They needed him to have a little bit more ISO game because they needed him to create. So now that they're kind of back, steps back, every, you know, things are rolling, they're in a position where they're like, okay, let's get back to who we who we need to be. And I think that was kind of, that's, that's what's taking a little bit longer. I think that's the transition period. Yeah, and it's hard, right? Yeah. It's hard for a reason. This is how it's supposed to be.